नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ट्रांजिस्टर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी नोन लाइक व्हाट व्हाट इज अ ट्रांजिस्टर लेट्स से दिस इज माय एनपीएन ट्रांजिस्टर एंड दिस इज माय बेस दिस इज माय कलेक्टर एंड दिस इज माय इमीटर जंक्शन एंड एज यू नो एज देयर इज अ बायस करंट आई बी एंड देयर विल बी अ करंट व्हिच इज कमिंग टू आई सी एंड दिस इज माय आई ई सो एज यू गाइस ऑलरेडी नो बेस्ड ऑन द वेरिएशन ऑफ आई बी करंट दैट इज द बेस करंट there will be an increment in collector current so as you can see from this graph which is vc that is voltage across collector to emitter junction right so based on this uh, based on the variation of ib let us say this is my ib1 this is my ib2 like that all these ibs are changing okay so as my ib is increasing my ic is also increasing and getting saturated after some time so we'll try to simulate this particular transistor characteristics as well as we'll try to understand pnp also so npn transistor characteristics we'll see and then we'll see pnp transistor characteristics like basically we'll try to plot ic versus vce so let's open lts spice now what we can do is we can open <coughs> new schematic by putting control n control n for new schematic or you can go to this plus symbol to come uh, to get a new window so this is my new window of schematic what we can do quickly is we'll just place one current source so for that we have to go to parts right so this is the part uh, symbol or you know like this is the part tool that you can go or otherwise you can press p to get part tool so press p to get a part tool if you want you can write down npn to get a npn transistor okay now let's pl place it in the middle now we want to place again one more part which will be current source so current source i can place it like this c u w r u q put you will see current right so press enter to get the current source outside actually i had i had i should have put this current source little bit uh, you know like upward direction so what should i what we should do is we can press move to move it so this is moving now right now it has been intacted now i can put control r to rotate it so we have rotated this and this is how we have placed it upward direction what else we need we need one collector resistor so i can press r to get a collector resistor we need a voltage source so i can put a v source then we put uh, grounds so one ground will be needed here one ground will be needed here and one ground will be needed here if you want you can put only one ground to connect all of them together but it looks good to connect like this okay now to wire them up we can either come to here and pre uh, press this or otherwise press w to get wiring okay so w by pressing that i am getting the wires and i am just quickly wiring my schematic okay <coughs> now what do we need is after wiring this particular schematic we need to give values to each one of them so to give that what i'll do is let us say since i have to simulate this uh, transistor characteristics so instead of uh, giving a particular value i can just write it down for let us say right now zero okay so zero will be given to that and here also i'll just put zero if you want you can put some other values also not a problem because anyway we will be doing a dc sweep like we will be varying this particular voltage value and this ib that is current value in the bias by um, um, base voltage right in the base of the transistor will be changing the current let's define my resistance value to be let us say 1.2 kilo ohm and if you want you can choose one of the you know like a general resistor uh, general transistor so what do we do uh, go to this place right click it you will get a option pick new transistor okay so once you pick new transistor you can have any transistors not a problem i'll just take the first one itself which is 2n222 okay so that transistor characteristics that transistor model has been assigned to this particular q1 so my circuit is now complete now what we can do is we have to configure the analysis right so that we can have a dc sweep of our transistor so what we can do is before that we have to name one vce like voltage across collector to emitter okay for that what will we do we can put one net name here at this junction i can put one net and just press this wire come out and then put a net name n as vce okay so vce has come got it 
okay now uh, if you want you can put like uh, uh, this as uh, you know like uh, vcc and this as ib or something like that if you want you can put the net names otherwise there is no need just we'll just go to configure analysis so that we can set up our dc sweep so configure analysis these are all the sweeps that is there so we can put dc sweep and first source it is asking so what is my first source you can say based on my voltage variation there should be a change so i'll just put v1 as my voltage uh, first sweep or first source and then we'll keep it linear only because we we'll we want to ver vary it linearly my start value we can start it from 0 volt and then a step value a stop value let us say go uh, we will go up to 15 volt in a step of let's say 0 0.2 volt or something okay so v you don't have to put because it automatically takes uh, the increment value in terms of S si unit right now coming back to the second so don't click it uh, okay we'll have to based on this variation we have to vary second source also so second source is my i so i1 is there which is my base current right now what we can do is we can start from zero base current so the transistor will be off then we can have a stop value let us say 30 micro ampere or 40 micro ampere you can go because it will be in micro amps you already know that the base current will be in micro amperes right and then we can go ahead with let's say increase of uh, 5 micro ampere each steps so it will take 0 5 10 15 like that all these micro amperes it will be taking so this is my DC sweep parameters that has been set now what we can do we can just run this particular schematic to get the characteristics of transistor so once we run this if you want we can take it right side it will be easy now once we run this what is going to happen that we'll try to see so this is the current that is flowing through the uh, resistor right so what we can do is we can what we have to do you have to understand right if you click this one you will get voltage source that is changing from 0 volt to 15 volt that you can see right if you click on this current source you will see that you have 0 micro ampere 5 micro ampere 10 micro ampere all these currents are also there uh, just click double so you will get a different colors as well so this is how you are getting right so what we can do uh, this one is uh, instead of taking all these things I want to have current across the R1 that is my co collector resistor right so once we click this you will get the current across this so what will happen you can see this is the current that is coming uh, so I will just double click so that I can get a different colors for different IB values so double click then you are getting only i r1 so this is the you know like a transistor characteristic that you can see however the change what you are seeing is this is the y axis which is your collector current okay and this is the x axis that is your voltage variation of v1 that is kind of vcc okay now suppose you want to change this to vce like you want to have uh, VC on the X axis so that what is the variation of the saturation voltage and this is what uh, you will be uh, watching out right so in that case what we can do uh, we can try to place this X axis as VCE right so VCE will reach around let's say 0.2 volt or something then my transistor will get saturated that's the main understanding or that's the main agenda that we want to follow so what we can do is go here you will see a pointer see in the graph you are di seeing different thing go here you will see a pointer or a scale you are seeing right then right click it so there is a uh, you know like a, uh, this is my axis limit if you want you can change the axis, li axis limit also but I am not interested into that I am interested into this one like quantity plotted so what is the quantity that we want to plot I want to plot the voltage across collector to emitter so this is name is VCE right so VCE I can put it like this voltage of voltage CE so you can see voltage parameter of voltage CE node that's the understanding of this particular uh, quantity so what you will see this is what you are going to see as my VCE is increasing you can see just at point uh, 2 volt or something my transistor is saturated so for 0 milliamperes for 5 milliamperes for uh, sorry for 0 micro amperes for 5 micro amperes 10 micro ampere 15 20 25 and 30 micro amperes of IB currents my collector current is changing okay if you want you can quickly uh, set your values to some other stick let's say tick I want to put it 5.5 milliamps and let us say I want to 
proceed from minus 0 0.5 milliamps okay <coughs> so this is set it is now very clear you can see uh, it is going to 1 milliamps at 5 microamperes of current as my IB is increasing to 10 microamperes my IC current is increasing to 2 milliamperes similar to that and this will be other things if you want what you can do is uh, go to right click and notes and annotation and let us see annotate step what it gives so yes it is giving like this you can see i1 value so i1 is nothing but the ib value so ib current based on the ib currents you are seeing different different ic currents okay so that's the main understanding so hope you have a very good idea about this particular uh, transistor characteristics now we will move to the second uh, circuit what we can do is we can change this circuit to pnp transistors okay and we'll see what is the response so why don't we do quickly uh, let's say open a new window so we'll open new window here and let's uh, uh, cut them all okay <coughs> all right so we opened a new window now now what we can do is we can place parts by putting a, a, let's say a current source i want to put so see current source in the pnp transistor will be coming out of the uh, base right so i can take it downward direction only then we need one voltage source i can put it voltage source one more part we need which is pnp so i can put it pnp in the search uh, search toolbar and this is how you'll get pnp transistor so you can put a pnp transistor here okay then we need one resistor so i can put one resistor here that's all and we need one grounds so i can put ground one two and three okay now quickly wire them up so i'll just put wiring one sorry i'll just quickly wire them up so this wiring is almost complete now So this is going to be a characteristics of our PNP transistor, right? What we'll do is we'll just, uh, you know, like uh, stretch this little uh, current downward. Okay, it will be a little easy. Uh, now it looks good. Let's quickly uh, put down some values. So we'll just put it zero and then we'll also put it zero because we are going to set the DC parameters. And let's say I R R1 value will just put 1.2 kilo ohm. You can keep it increasing or decreasing also based on that you know like uh, ic will be changing and let's say uh, the main job is to change the P uh, pnp transistor part right so what we can do is we can right click pick a new transistor so you will see a lot of pnp transistors are there you can see polarities pnp pnp all this so we have vco capacity of 40 volt so we can choose this first one itself not a problem okay now our aim is to uh, change this particular currents right so what we can do is we can go right click it and we have already changed sorry so we have already changed all these parameters now once we go to this uh, ac characteristics okay so what is the thing that we have to do here uh, before that what we have uh, what we have to do here is we have to change this particular vce right so vce will be negative right so in that case, uh, let's first put one net here. It will be VCE, VCE, and VCE will be negative in that case, right? So in that case, what we'll do is either you can reverse this polarity or you can go to negative voltage variation. That's there are two things that you can do. Either you can reverse this polarity or you can put a negative voltage variation. So we'll just move this and rotate it and keep it negative direction okay so let's uh, stretch and put it little this side stretch it okay we can just delete again and place this vc again vc now the circuit looks good okay everything is set so what we can do is we can go to configure analysis go to this tc sweep and my first source will be 
V1. Okay, so V1 is my first source. The type of switch we will take as linear uh, linear type, and start value again we will start from let's say zero. Stop value we can go to 15 volt, and let's say increment of uh, 0.2 volt or 1 volt you can go. That is not a problem. Or 0.1 uh, volt we can go. Okay, then. This uh, second source will be my I1, which is you have to make sure the name whatever is written here that only you have to give there. Okay. Start value I can take up zero. Stop value I can take up let's say uh, 30 microampere again, and increment of five microamperes. So these are the things that you will be taking minus if you have upward direction of current and upward direction of voltage, then it will be negative. Okay. That's the only change that you will be doing. So my configure analysis is done. Now we can run the circuit. <coughs> Let's again press this. So you will have tile window right side. Now what we are going to do? We are going to see current across VCE, right? So you will see uh, this is VCE current. Uh, sorry, uh, the this is my IC current. That is collector current, which is going towards negative direction, as you can very much see. And the x-axis is actually the voltage V1. So if you want to vary across this VC, then you will see a very sharp curve. Like after VC, it will get saturated. And these are the currents which is IB current, the voltage, uh, you know, like base current that is coming out of the PNP transistor, right? So what we can do, uh, we can go here uh, at this place. So you are having a pointer, right? Click it and change the plotted quantity to your net name. What was that? VCE. Okay. So voltage of voltage CE. I will just put it. So you can see. As my voltage of voltage C is changing, as soon as you can see zero to you know like a 16 volt is going, but that is not needed. Just this much is more than enough. So you can see if you want, you can you know like increase this and see what is the variation. So see, <coughs> uh, if you want to see little more, so just you know like uh, at this place it is changing. So my IB is increasing and my current is also increasing. So why don't you just open the previous circuit and quickly see that. Uh, so let us say uh, this was my N NPN transistor uh, characteristics, right? right? So we run that one. <coughs> so this is my NPN and this was my uh, IC current characteristics. Now again you change it to voltage of voltage C. <coughs> okay. Now if you elongate this one little bit longer. So you will see this is the variation that you are seeing about the uh, VC as my VC is changing. Like you can see at 0.2 volt or something, it is completely reaching to the saturation level. So uh, at IB of 30 microampere, it is going to go to around 6, micro, 6 milliampere IC current. And similar to that, my uh, PNP transistor also. So we have now you know, like characterized our NPN transistor as well as PNP transistors and we have seen the responses of uh, current across IC based on the variation of IB that is base current. So what is the collector current characteristics across the base uh, 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 you know like versus base current uh, variations that we have seen. So if you do have any questions regarding these characteristics or if you do want to uh, you know like simulate some other kinds of characteristics you can try to uh, do that and you can uh, you know like uh, make yourself little bit advanced by changing the some other transistor like go here and pick a new transistor and change the parameter and then see what is the things that is coming. If you want to have some other uh, transistor which is not there in the simulation uh, you know like uh, I mean uh, this particular part com uh, part list or component list you can import that uh, spice model and then you can put this particular uh, transistor to this uh, circuit. Alright guys, thank you.